Hey, so I think you'll like this indicator that kind of goes with what you were showing me with the RSI and things like that. So I couldn't find anything where it was like five or six R, uh, moving averages that you can put on the RSI. But I did find something on TradingView and it's called uh, RSI with moving averages UO. It's this guy right here. Um, but I'll show you the settings. So it only uses like two moving averages, 13, 33, but it does provide like these trend support and resistance type of like overbought conditions or something like that uh, on top of like the RSI, I think like 70, 70 and what is that? Um, 70 and, and 40, 30 or whatever. So these are the settings that you could all you'd basically change SMA, EMA, the overbought for the RSI and then the this other support resistance type of setting as well. Um, so that one, that's kind of what that looks like as far as the settings goes. So I kept everything basically the same. The only thing I changed was this color. I made it, I think I made it lighter or darker. I'm not entirely sure, but I, I, that's the only thing that I changed as far as like the inputs, everything is the same. So what I like about it, um, I'm sure if you play around with the kind of, you know, EMAs that you want, so like more smaller or, you know, smaller, whatever, shorter term uh, EMAs or just moving averages are going to show more reflection of like, you know, of, of the signal. One thing though, is I, I kind of do wish they had an alert system for it, but for the most part, I think this is pretty cool. So, I mean, as you can see, right, we have this crossover that happens and then we have the overbought conditions over here. Um, and then the RSI is going up as well. Um, and then I still have the fair value gap indicator that's there. I That's always been very, very useful on my end. And then it's kind of like, I guess, in a technical sense, you could have probably just waited for price to, you know, push past here on one of these highs to fill all of that gap and then um, would have gone for a buy and then ended up aiming for that fair uh, value gap or whatever. And kind of same thing here, right? I mean, this is just like looking at it, though, right? You've got these conditions. All these crossovers happening over uh was it oversold or is this overbought i don't remember how rsi is on but whatever it's at the extremes at the top and then rsi is moving down and then the other moving averages are moving down and i'm sure if we put it you know to like a smaller time frame it'll kind of show more like details and things like that or whatever so i mean it's kind of like the same kind of like the same concept but I would probably back test this a little bit. I just found this. I have I can't really say for sure like how it is, but what I do like about it is it cleans up your your screen more and you can do other things with it. You know what I mean? Like if you wanted to add other indicators or whatever or if you wanted to keep it like really nice and simple because that's been what I've been trying to figure out is to remove as much of my screen and kind of keep everything at the bottom and have more stuff uh, more information for me, like either in another panel or, or a different indicator that shows everything. And then I could just kind of look at every with the price action just as is. And then indicators are like somewhere else. Anyways, um, let me know what you think. I'll show you this again. The, that's that right there on trading view RSI with moving averages. And pretty much, you know. I mean, so far it looks, I mean, it looks pretty good. I kind of like it on the longer time frame on the older stuff or the higher ones. I mean, that, this would have been nice, right? This would have been like a nice move. Like I said, though, I, I do kind of wish this had some sort of like alert, but it's good though.